So I have another one of these 9 inch wooden plaques that I got at either Hobby Lobby or Michaels for a couple of dollars. It's wood. It has an edge to it on the underside. I put push pins. So it's like a cradled board. I have these beautiful colors mixed up that I love and I want to do a tree ring with it. So I'm going to give it a try. So I'm putting a little white. I'm, I'm pouring this on the edge of the cup. I saw somebody do this. I'm just curious how it works. I'm kind of layering up the colors. But on the more on the side of the cup with a tilt to it. I'm going to put just a blip of black here, and then white. Put a little white on the board. I should have primed this, but this was like spur of the moment I wanted to do this. So hopefully it'll work out. Bring in a little bit closer here. So I have my cup, and you see how it's in layers. I wish I could show you sideways, but it's in layers. I've got silicone in my colors, so I didn't think about that, but hey, that's okay. We'll just see what happens. So I'm going to slowly tilt each direction. And I'm going to let it go off to one side. Okay. And that's okay. And it's going to make sounds, so it's not going to really look a lot like a tree ring pour. 
I mean, it does, but when the cells come out, you don't really have any control. I'm going to finish off the corners. I don't have paint. With some purple. do black. And let it fall over the sides. I'm just blending this into the black a little bit. I'm just tilting it back in the direction I wanted it to go. So it's off center, it's not, you know, centered. And that's okay. So this is just left over from the dirty pour that I did with these little cups. I'm just going to swipe out on these corners. Just drag my finger through a little bit to blend. And I don't like this little center part, but I'm trying to figure out. I have a toothpick. Let's see if I can get rid of those lines. It's where I where my cup dripped the paint as I was finishing the pour. So I'm just kind of straightening those lines out a little bit so they make more sense. Putting a little dollop of the deep violet there in the center. Put 
some black. Okay. So everything's covered on the sides. So here's my funky little wooden plaque with the tree ring kind of looking poor. So there it is. And I will post pictures at the end where it dries and um, I'm sure it's going to sell up. Actually, I'm going to put the heat gun on it. Okay, well, it didn't really change a whole lot, but I'm sure it will as it dries. So, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. I'm pouring in the leftovers of what I have left into a cup. A shot of turquoise right in the center and a little bit of blue. So I'm squirting it and it goes into the cup in the middle. So here's my cup. This is Just a wooden disc. It is nine inches round. So I'm going to put it right here on the cup. Try not to put the cup in the center of the paint, but I guess I have to so you can see it.
just now. I don't like that center part. So I'm trying to just put some more color right there in that middle. Like that black there on the edge, so I'm gonna see if I can leave it. But I'm not crazy about this part. If I go this way, I'll have more turquoise. If I go this way, I'll have more black. I think I'm gonna go this way. This way to cover the edges. <laughs> and drop it in paint too. You never know, the other side might be prettier. This part. I'm not crazy about this part. Just going to experiment here. Okay, I'm going to leave it, and I'm not like crazy about it, but I can always let it dry and paint over it. And with it being in the middle of the table over all this paint, but I'll bring it up closer so you can see. There's the ugly part. <laughs> and I like this little thing going on here. I'm trying to figure out. And I keep dropping things. That's ridiculous. Put some color. Put my little red. I 
These cups are so slippery. That's why I like squeeze bottles because it's less messy and you have a little bit more control. You're not trying to grip things while you're painting. Um, you're just using the bottles. So Now, I don't know. So I've got some light small cells and some stretch cells, but I covered up the other area. I just didn't care for it, so here it is. It needs, it needs something though. And you have to watch out for your thing to not fall, as you can see. Okay. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Thank you for watching. This was done with all my colors were different brands of paint mixed 50-50 with Floetrol. And they had silicone in them and some water. And I've got like a big colorful mess on my table, but it might make some really neat skins. I wanted to show you these condiment cups rinse out super easy so you can reuse them and they have lids. So if you like this kind of cup, it's great to use. <laughs>